Hey everyone, so I managed to get this stream started a bit earlier because plans change and such, you know. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna be trying to get into this quite soon because, yeah. Hello, everyone, and welcome to 2.5 year anniversary in Last Claudia. So, yeah, there's quite a lot of stuff. I do like the anniversary events, they're always great. Uh, same thing as usual, we're gonna go for the events, uh, the uh, unit and the arc first, but. I'm going to try and speed it up a little bit because I am kind of limited on time. So I'm going to try and speed it up a bit so we can get all to the summons and stuff like that later on. Because there's a lot of stuff that we've got to do here. And I'm pretty prepared for this. So this may be fun or it may just be terrible. Who knows? But first let's go to this gacha just to look at the cheetah first and then the arc. So I'm going to try and go through this a bit faster. But we'll see how it goes. So... Hopefully the sound is fine, it should be, because I changed it a little bit. It, I didn't want to make it too low, so. The stats, it's high strength and int's pretty good. Uh, MP's decent as well. Uh, nil to stun is great. Uh, I have looked at the video, I always look at the unit video on this, on the units, but I don't really look too in-depth at the units, really, so. Uh, he does look pretty nice. I do like his artwork and everything. Uh, people have been wanting this unit for a while, so I'm kind of glad that they've released him, finally. And he does look like he's going to be pretty strong, but abilities, skill 1, uh, dark combo attack. All of these skills are close the gap skills, but I'm not entirely sure how good they are because it says it's a medium area, medium range dark combo attack, and then instantly close the gap. So it seems like I don't know how that is going to work exactly. Like if you can use it anywhere on all three of his skills, that's going to be stupidly good, especially in arena. I like those type of skills a lot. So... Yeah, all of his skills, I do like his skill 2 the most, I've got to say, because instantly move behind the enemy, so basically teleport behind the enemy, and then do a bunch of damage, it's pretty nice. And a skill 3 uh, is also pretty nice, uh, it's got a, a large range to that, a wide area of effect of his skill 3, kind of. It's not as good as Roy's skill 3, but it's still pretty nice area range, so... It, his skill 3 is only 13 hits, skill 2 is 10 I think, and skill 1 is like 6, so a decent hit counts, but skill 3 could have been higher. Special skill, powerful dark combo against all enemies, chance to instant kill, and it's like, it's, his special is pretty good, it's about 40 hits around that, 41 or 2 or something around that, but so it's pretty good hit count and it's against all enemies, so that can be pretty great, and obviously excludes bosses in arena, so instant kill. Uh, it's mostly going to be useful in the godly stages, you know, in the story, but I'm still waiting for them to release more of those. So his traits are a bit confusing. Uh, so his trait 1, battle start if strength at least equals int. So if the strength is the same as your int or higher, then plus 30% strength and physical attack damage plus 40% and damage cap plus 10,000 now. One thing I'm not sure on is damage cap plus 10,000. I'm pretty sure it is physical damage cap plus 10,000, but it doesn't say physical damage cap. It says physical attack damage plus 40% slash damage cap plus 10,000. It could be magic and physical, but that's going to require a bit of testing. I've got to try it out first, which I'm hoping we can get in the unit because I do definitely want to get in. If strength is less than int, then int plus 30% and magic attack damage plus 40% and damage cap plus 10%, 10,000. So that again... 10,000 damage cap, but I don't know if it applies to both magical, I don't know if it applies to everything, or if it's just limited to magic and physical, because that's what I first thought, because that would make the most sense, like, you could basically build this unit, uh, let's say you, you build a bunch, you put a bunch of strength ups on him, right, a bunch of attack ups, it's going to make him have more physical damage and damage cap and less magic damage, but if you put in a lot of ints, then it's going to do more magic damage and more magic damage cap to me that makes the most sense but i don't know yet i people have probably tried them out already even though i haven't had much time because i literally just got back home and i just went straight on this so yeah <laughs> trait two battle start auto cast grand brave grand aura haste recast high protection and high magic barrier now these are all great skills and they're all high, the high effects so that's very good but the only problem is it's not continuous so if you're in a battle which takes a while, then you're still going to need the normal 
continuous effects, the auto effects, because uh, you're going to need those for long battles. But if you're in battles that don't take as long, or if you can just make him do enough damage so he can kill everyone really fast, then that's going to be amazing. And especially in Arena, because time limit isn't that big of a deal in Arena, so the space loop is going to be always active, so that's going to be great. Trait 2 is amazing. Trait 1 is also very good because plus 10,000 damage cap and everything else on it is great. Skills. A new anima, strength and int minus 20% to all enemies, pretty nice. It does stack, so that's going to be pretty useful. The Biscate, Black Hole. I do like Black Hole the most. They have changed it. Uh, duck, attack to all enemies, chance to inflict silence and damage cap plus 1,000. So, Black Hole is going to be the mo main magic that you're going to use on this guy because... The other ones are not really that great compared to this one because the animation is decently fast, it's not the best, but the hits are pretty fast. If you compare it to a Biscate, it's a Biscate is just super slow. So Black Hole's gonna be the main one that you're gonna be using on him. If you're gonna use him as mage, you're gonna use this. Venomous Rainfall is still nice. I did try it in Arena a few months ago, around V time. <laughs> it, it, it was pretty good, but nobody really uses that anymore. But it's it's still decent, but Black Hole is the main thing. Giga Weak is great. Tag Up Max, Magic Up Max, Flank Spirit 4 and Arcane Up 4 is great. So it's kind of gotten balanced between attack and magic, so that's good. And if I go back, his stats are exactly the same. Strength and Int are exactly the same, so that's interesting to know. So, it's going to be quite easy to build him the way you want him to. Illusions, great. Now, the main thing I like here, Divinity Slayer and Divinity Geyser. I don't know about you, but Divinity Slayers are my favourite because Gods, Dragons, Spirit and Undead are like most bosses that I can think of uh, those types. So Divinity Slayer is pretty much my favourite Slayer. So I do like Divinity Slayer a lot. That's going to be the most useful in my opinion. Divinity Slayer is the most useful Slayer. As well as that, he's also got it for Magic Attacks, which is a new thing with uh, Eliza. So that's going to be great. Special Boost is also great. <laughs> with Divinity Slayer is great. I know it's not like Loxus where he has Human Slayer basically kill all humans as well as all of the beast types, which is great, but uh, most bosses are Divinity Slayers, right? So this guy's going to be pretty good for bosses, I'm going to assume, because Divinity Slayer is great. Auto Advanced Circle, Auto Heal is great because that's a lot of survivability there, and uh, the only units I can think of that have this are Lily. And maybe Thuria, I don't know if she does. I, I, def, I know for sure Lily does have it, but she's a mage. So this guy having auto heal as a mage and a physical attacker is great. Because I don't really know any physical attackers that have this. So that's going to be pretty good. Dark high boost, more magic damage. High drive is great. Attack raise 1 and attack raise 3, more damage cap and damage. And now Awaken Shrouded Light is kind of a weird one because... Light and Dark Magic. He doesn't have Light Magic. This is just because of Light. Dark. The Dark Magic he has. And they don't want to make a new skill. Which is fine. But. <laughs> it's kind of strange that it's Light. As well. But. Whatever. Dark Magic attacks have a chance to deal critical damage. And damage plus 30%. So. That's great. It is on Lily. I know for sure. Advocate of God Lily. I do have her. She's great. Weak Point Boosts. When attribute weakness is attacked, damage taken minus 30%. So, if someone's hitting you and getting your weakness, then you take less damage. So, that sounds good. I do like that. Goddess Kiss is also great. Because uh, Goddess Kiss is perfect for him, basically. Because he is kind of a hybrid mage and physical attacker, basically. So, this is going to be amazing on him. It's going to allow him to have a lot more MP. Even if you build him as a mage, he's still going to get some decent MP back from normal attacks because he has a lot of strength as well and some other skills that increase his damage. So if there's any good dark weapons, then you're going to do super well with this. Immovable object, high level magic chance, great. Orgon ring is, it is on an arc. So I don't know, I think this might be the first unit with this. I'm not entirely sure, but... This is a great skill to have. Boost magical attack damage based on int on strength. On strength. Now, the, when this skill came out, I was kind of uh, skeptical about it because I thought there's not going to be many units or any units 
that are going to benefit from this this much. So this is still going to be great. It basically enforces the fact that you want to use him as a physical attacker, but that's going to allow him to do more magical damage. You could do it the other way around, increase his int and put on the, uh, the rings, Thaumaturgy ring, but I personally wouldn't re recommend that. I would say it's probably better to boost his strength if you want him to be a physical attacker and make his strength higher. But if you want him to be a mage, then probably focus on ints, obviously. Diablos is a great skill. Skill attacks have a chance of great reduced defense and attribute resistance and then deal damage. So that's going to be very useful. But if you have Trishla on him, then it won't be as useful, I guess. But it's still going to be great because chance of reduced defense by like 15% chance or 25% chance or something like that is still a very nice skill. Now these skills down here are all new ones, four skills. Uh, Magnus, Mag Magus, Sharp Eyes and Magic Aura. These sound great, in my opinion they sound really good. Attack skills use 3% of max MP for 50% more damage and 5000 damage cap. Now one problem with this is it's hard to get this activated in Arena because you got to have MP for it to have that plus 50% damage which is quite a lot. But in hard stages, you don't really have to worry about this because he's going to have a decent amount of MP. You can always put MP ups on him if you want, which I probably would do. And as well as that, he's got Goddess Kiss on him as well. So you don't really have to worry about MP that much. As well as that, for magic, 50% more MP for 75%. 75% is a lot more magic damage and 5,000 damage cap. So... These two skills I do like a lot, even though they use more MP. Don't have to worry about it too much because you've got Goddess Kiss and you can put more skills on here if you want to basically give him MP when defeating an enemy and when moving on to a new wave. You can put those on him and it's going to have a lot of MP. So, these skills are going to be amazing for hard stages mostly because any story stages or multiplayer is going to be great too. Death Gods, Chance to Deal Answer Death is great. Imaginary weapon is a new one as well. And I was equipping up all weapon types, which is interesting. You can use any weapon you want, which is great, because when there's a unit that limits you to use specific weapons, it kind of sucks, because let's say it's, a, for example, a claw, and you don't really have that many claws, uh, the unit isn't going to be at its full potential because you don't have the best weapons for it. But since this guy can equip any weapon, you can put anything on him you want. The best stuff you have, just put it on. Equip weapon strength slash int plus 50% is also great. So there you go. That's all of his skills and traits and everything. Overall, after looking at everything, it does look like he has some great stuff on him. And he is built as a good hybrid. Like, he's kind of a balanced hybrid a mage and physical attacker because it seems pretty perfect in both ways, magic and physical attackers. Uh, so yeah. I feel like he's definitely going to have pretty good usage because uh, you can use him as a mage or a physical attacker. You can use him as both if you want, but I personally usually do only focus on one at a time. So if you want to use him as a physical attacker, then focus on that and not mage because the magic is going to do less damage if you, you want to have as much damage as possible. So he seems like he's going to be a great unit. And I, a lot of people are going to be saying compare him to Loxus. Don't do that yet. I mean, I, I can talk about it a little bit. Loxus is still better in my opinion. Uh, well, it's basically facts he's still better, but Sheeta is has got his own thing going on. He's got his own skills. He's unique, but he is still a dark attribute unit, so that's one thing. And sure, he is a hybrid, but I would say he's a better hybrid than Loxus because Loxus magic isn't that great but this guy is pretty good they are both built differently so i would recommend not to compare them because it's not a good comparison and loxus is just very high up there so shida is still high up there but not as high i would say and she's got different uses so now let's go over the arc which is a ur one thing i gotta say first is probabilities 
the UR arc is on 0.8%, so keep that in mind. If you want a UR, this is the perfect chance because it's got a very good rate up. This is the best rate up we've had ever. So uh, I, I, I don't know if I would recommend to chase it or not because the pity is still 500 pulls if you get unlucky. But the chance is the same as the unit. So if you can get lucky enough, you can get both. So there you go. Here's the Yark. Council of 10. I do like the artwork on all of this. It's always great. Uh, does show all of the Council of 10 members, which is great. So stats of this first. HP's good. MP's bad. Strength, defense, int, and mind is also decent. Uh, mostly strength, defense, and int are the main ones. And HP, so decent stats actually. Now the trait on this one, when I read it in the video, I personally didn't like it. But maybe I'll change my mind, who knows. So attribute the traits for each sol soldier, knight, sorcerer, or sniper type that a living ally has. Damage plus 1% and damage taken minus 1%. Now here's a problem. I'm not 100% sure what this means really, but I can take a guess, which is each type that a living ally has. So the ally has to be alive. Uh, let's say you have four units and you have a soldier, knight, sorcerer, and a sniper, which is four. Let's say you have four units that have all those types, right? Then the maximum, the maximum is plus 10% damage and minus 10% damage taken which in my opinion is very bad because if you look at another arc like a Loxus UR arc that gives plus 40% damage which is a lot higher so 10% damage is quite low on a UR arc I gotta say that it's not that great and I don't know if it's plus 1% per skill like per trait that you've got or if it's if you've got those four if it's a max if you've got 10 straight away I don't know but that part of the arc attribute, the trait, it, it's not that great to me because other UR arcs have had higher damage. But the good thing about this is it's minus 10% less damage taken, which is good, but you're not doing as much damage, so that's one thing. Upon using the arc skill, which we'll look at in a minute, Council of 10, max skill stock plus 1 during wave and damage cap plus 2000. Now, this is great, but at the same time, not as great because... Max skill stock plus one. It doesn't say if it's to the entire team or the unit, but I'm assuming it's only to the unit that is equipping this. That would make the most sense. I'm almost certain it's that. So the unit that is equipping this arc gets plus one to all skill stocks, which is great, especially if you're using Honey Elixir or Apple Pie. Th that with this arc is going to be amazing. That's the main reason why I want this. And the damage cap plus 2000. Every UR has had plus 3000 damage cap. So I don't know why this arc has plus 2000 not 3000 because I would say plus 3000 would have been a lot better. Now one thing to note is plus damage cap plus 2000 it includes all attributes. It includes special attack and physical attacks and magic. Basically includes everything. So that is good but it kind of similar to the free UR the vase you are that we got for free if you could beat that boss it was 2000 damage cap but not the same as this yeah thanks i've been trying to do more videos but i kind of limited on time so i didn't really have that much time to do anything else so yeah let's keep going the trait is pretty good but i would say it's not the best one the main thing about this trait is the max skill stock plus one to all skills that's amazing so it's our unit skills Pose of Honor is nice. Fighting Spirit 2 is amazing because I don't think we've had that on an arc yet, so you can stack that, which is going to be great. I do like stacking skills. Attack up max and defense up max don't really matter because they're on a bunch of arcs. There's rare arcs and stuff like that. Defense up max. Already said that. Formation. Now, this one is a new one. Light critical rays is also great to have. But there aren't that many light units, but maybe. I don't know if A2 has this. If not, you can put it on her. She might do, I don't know, I don't remember. Now this one, when party has at least two units and all are alive, unit deals 5% more damage and takes 5% less damage. Now, 
One thing I don't like about this is it's 10 SC and you're only getting 10% more, 5% more damage and taking 5% less damage. Now that is quite bad because 10 SC for that is, I, I wouldn't use it because the SC cost is too high. Now if it was something like 6, I would probably use it. But since it's 10, I'm most likely never going to use it because I would rather use the SC on other skills instead which would benefit me more. So I don't like that skill because it's too expensive. But like Critical Raise is a pretty good skill, uh, but there's just not that many light units currently. Mostly A2 is the most recent, and Roland, so yeah. These skills are not that great. The trait is pretty good because of the max skill stock is going to be amazing with Honey Elixir and Apple Pie. It's going to be a great combination. Uh, Archive Rewards next. Now this is a Staff, non-attribute. Strength and int and mind is pretty good, even stats trait. Battle start apply physical and magical attack damage buff to all allies. It doesn't say how long. I should definitely change Nightbot, I thought I removed him, but whatever. So this trait I think it's for like twenty seconds. But the thing is, this is to physical and magical plus twenty percent to all allies. Now this is going to be pretty useful, uh, I would, the first thing I thought of was it's not actually that strong compared to other ones, like uh, any other one that I can think of, it's, I would say it's not that good compared to those, but now I look at it, the stats are great, as well as that, the trait is actually pretty good if you're doing like uh, time trials or in arena maybe, and I don't know who you'll use it on really, it could be used on anyone, but it is a staff. If this was an accessory, it would have been a lot better, but it's still pretty good, mostly the stats and the trait, so it's still a good one to have, but I wouldn't say it's overpowered or anything, it's still strong, but not the best one, I'd say, so this arc is definitely a good one. One thing we haven't gone through yet is the skill, so let's do that last. Council of 10, I have no idea on the animation of it, I have no clue of what the animation is, so <laughs> hopefully we can get it, I, I hope we do. I, I don't know if I'm going to end up fitting it. Would I do 150 summons? Well, 150,000 crystals to get it. I don't know, really. I really don't know. We have to see. SCT gauge fills to the maximum, to maximum for all skills. Now, I'm pretty sure this is only to the unit that's equipping this arc. It fills all SCT. We have skills for that already. Honey Elixir and Apple Pie, we've got that ready. So, it's not that great, but it's still... <laughs> Decent, I guess. Allies recover one SCT stock for all skills. Now, that's the main thing about this. So, you got one SCT stock for all skills here for the arc skill, and then a trait which gives another plus one to max skill stock for this unit. So, you're getting plus one skill to stock to all allies and on this unit. So, let's say you, you're using a unit that can only hold one a skill three you use the arc skill with this arc to equip on that unit and then that unit will be able to hold three of the skill three i'm pretty sure so i keep getting that popped up i don't know why <laughs> but yeah that does seem like it's going to be a pretty good thing having more skill stock with honey elixir and or apple pie is just an amazing combination it's going to allow you to spam more skills so yeah i would say this arc is a very strong one. Um, I don't know where I would rate it, like on a tier list of UR arcs. I don't know, I have no idea. <laughs> don't worry about that. Uh, just worry about it. it's a good arc to have and it's on 0.8%, which is the same as a unit. So you have a decent chance to get it. Maybe this is the time to start chasing UR arcs because the rate up's pretty good. But again, if you end up getting bad luck, then don't chase it because 150,000 crystals just to get it guaranteed is a, is a stupid amount. So I only do that if you're going to be paid to win. Maybe I will. Who knows? But yeah, great arc and a great unit. I wouldn't say they are uh, overpowered. You don't have to get them, but I would still recommend to do a few summons. As well as that, let me just look at the few gatches we're going on right now, and then I'll look at the paid equipment. So we got... Paid version, this step up, which I'll do later. Free gacha, this one, which is... 
yeah, that. We're talking about that later. And we've also got this festival, which haven't really looked at yet, but you can see it's no rate up on anything. So even though it does look fancy and it's showing a bunch of stuff which you want, the chances are very low because there's no rate up. So keep that in mind. And it lasts 27 more days. So yeah, that's everything to go over so far. Haven't done the event yet, so I don't have any tickets. So how long have we been on for 25 minutes? That's all right. That's pretty good, actually. That's not that bad. So still got some time left. We've got a decent amount of time. Let's go training space next. Look at everything on here. So all of this stuff. Um, I'm going to just look at it quickly. Nothing amazing, amazing, amazing. Okay. Okay. What are the stuff you can farm, I think, from story and get the materials for that? This one is the events. Abaddon Club, whatever. Ring. Uh, actually, that's great. I like these. All these materials. Okay. And uh, two prisms. And some tickets. Okay, this is going to be a great event to farm. You're definitely going to want to farm this event because the tickets, prisms, everything else. Definitely get it. Because that's going to be great. So I'm going to be farming a lot of that. Uh, we'll look at the equipment last. Training space, Shida, and the Ark. I've only done a two page daily pulls so far, so. Yeah. Uh, 500 is still a lot. If it was 300, would have been happy with that, but. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's go for paid equipment now. So, one thing I'm kind of confused of is. Why are there two? Actually, this one's an accessory, isn't it? Even though it's a coat. It is an accessory, great. Okay, so this one, let's go with this one first, cloth. Now, if you're using him as a physical attacker, you won't use this. This is only when you're going to use him as a mage, so let's assume that when you're using this, you're going to use him as a mage. So, stats, defense of mind, HP is alright. I wish it would have added MP. Dark attack damage cap plus 1000. Physical and magical damage taken minus 10%. HP plus 15%. So, it doesn't actually increase damage but it does increase damage cap and take less damage and more HP so that's quite interesting but you could use a different cloth or a robe <laughs> you're not really limited or anything so attribute 10 to fire no elements so I would say this cloth is pretty decent but nothing crazy and I wouldn't use it because I'm just going to be using dual world all the time because Physical attackers are far superior than mages still to this day. I mean, Eliza kind of is up there, but this guy, he, he I, I don't know if he's going to be an amazing mage. It's going to require testing and building and stuff like that because I have no idea. But I, I would still say he's going to be better as a physical attacker, obviously. But if you want a mage, you, you can still be used to that. Let's look at this. Accessory, 50 MP is great. Strength and inch. Dark attack damage plus 10%, which is nice. More casting speed is great. MP plus 15%. That's interesting. So, if you've got 1000 MP, quite extreme example, but 1000 MP plus 15% MP, 150 more MP. I don't know, but that sounds great. <laughs> uh, resistance to whatever that is curse silence poison curse whatever you know illness no whatever that is uh, so yeah this accessory I, I i'm most likely going to get this accessory because more mp more damage dark damage more casting speed is whatever more mp now what am i thinking of i'm thinking of using this accessory with another one with the one from the vase you are arc that we get from the stage if, because that one's amazing. If you put those two together, it's going to be great. So, I, I do personally like this accessory. I'm going to get this accessory if we get the unit. This accessory is going to be great. Uh, for f Again, free-to-play players, don't worry about it. Because you can use anything, really. Uh, and unit is going to be outdated in the future. So, there's no reason to use paid crystals. No reason to buy paid crystals just to get it specifically. But, if you can spare paid crystals and you want it then sure why not because it's going to be great to have Shida but don't worry about it really but I, I I personally would recommend 
accessory first, and then prisms, and then that's mostly it, unless you want a rope, the uh, cloth. But or you could do prisms first and then accessory. But what I'm going to do is probably accessory first and then prisms. But we'll see how it goes, really. So yeah, that's everything so far. We've been here for 30 minutes, which is actually a pretty good time. So now we've got the rest of the hour that I have left to do summons and mess around and stuff. So yeah. Here's the part you've been waiting for. The summon part of the video, the stream. <laughs> I'm going to do it. I don't know what I, my plan is this time. What I want from this is... I kind of at least want one. I, can't, I, I still need Katsuchi UR. As well as the new UR that is released today. So I would like to get... Counselor 10 UR arc with Sheeta. And... If possible... But if I can get, there's a few other units and arcs I'm missing, like uh, I don't have Rabala, which I don't really care too much. I don't have, uh, let's have a look actually, here. I'm going to do this one first, just because. I don't have Eliza, I don't have Lena, and I don't have Rabala, and I don't have Sheeta. So those are the units I'm missing, and I don't have, I don't have Zayx or Zoglas, and I think that's it. And the URs are missing Councilor Ten and Katsuchi. And for SSRs, I'm missing Sakai Guild, I think. And another one, Megalodon. So I'm I'm pretty much missing two of everything mostly, so let's hope we can get some good luck because I'm gonna need it. First of all, let's start with a warm-up free temple. And then Step gatches. I I do really want Sheeta and the Ark. I'm hoping we can get lucky this time because our Eliza luck was pretty bad. So hopefully that means we've got some luck built up for this because last anniversary we were pretty damn lucky. That was my most lucky lucky anniversary was last anniversary. Don't expect anything great here because it's just a free ten pool. So, free ten pulls. Don't care too much about. If I could get something, it would be great. But that's out of the way. And um, what do we do next? Um, okay, order. I'm gonna do this in step gacha first. Not this one. Do this one first, and then this one. What I'm expecting from this one is, I'm expecting <laughs> literally nothing. I'm just expecting a UR dupe and a dupe of a DOH unit, that's what I'm expecting because I'm only missing two URs which means the highest chance is I'm going to get a dupe. That's what I expect. It's not that big of a deal if I get a dupe because a dupe can still be useful to me. I can level up the arc skill or increase the stats. A dupe is still great to have because I must get this one. A dupe is great to have. I, I have saved a lot of UR Stardust. I don't know what I'm going to use them on, I have no idea, so I'm just saving those. Uh, one thing I wanted to do as well, I forgot to do it, after the step up I'm going to buy a bunch of stuff in the shop. So let's do the step up gacha first. Now I wouldn't recommend to do what I'm doing, because I'm just trying to have fun, you know. So please be lucky, please, I would like the units and the UR. I, 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 that's all I ask for. <laughs> I don't expect anything, this is just a step up. New? No, it's not new. Okay, well, first red of the day. That's out of the way. We haven't even done a temple yet. The free one doesn't count. Okay, there's a free temple there. If I look, I'm almost certain there's no UR rate up on here. UR is not even in here, so. Only the unit is in here. But the good thing about this is you get credentials. That's the main reason I'm doing this. Credentials, chance for Sheeta. And it's pretty worth the crystals that you use on it. Probably going to skip this one if it's blue. Yeah. Not even a gold pair. Okay. Ten pull. <laughs> Can't even get the UR from it. So even if I get an arc, it's no chance for UR yet. Uh, we'll do this one and then I'll go to the shop. This one's free. So, 
Yes, great stuff. I don't know which gacha I'm going to pull most on. My plan is use most crystals on Shida gacha. And if I can get the UR early and Shida early, then we can spare a few crystals for the Super DOH gacha. Another red Sonian arc. That's bad. It could be an SSR arc I don't have. Please be an SSR arc that I don't have. Even if it's a dupe. It's a dupe. It gives me the Crimson Ore, which... Yeah, there you go. Okay. Before we do any more summons, i got to do a few things first. Trading Space. They have updated it. Crimson Ore Shop. So they put... All of these are paid equipments. Roland, don't really care about Roland. Sorry, mate, you're gone. You're, you're a bit old now, so. Still more though. For this one, yeah. Tinkili is great, but eight thousand crimson ore is a bit too much. So I'm not gonna do that. I I mostly use them on. Press Stardust, that's what I like doing, so. Uh, what did I want to do? Oh yeah, shop now. So, let's look at the shop quickly. And let's have a look at what's going on here, so. Anniversary Special Packs, the main thing here is. Sheet of Packs, or whatever, this one. These packs. Now these packs are amazing. I, I do like these. Now we're going to buy a few of these. This one first, 300 paid crystals for a guaranteed unit. Now it could be any unit. But the fact that you get a guaranteed unit for 300 crystals, paid crystals, is just a steal for me. I'm taking that. There you go. And this, these two here. This one, first of all, 7,800. One times hero, 10 times ticket. Guarantees a DOH unit. Two UR Stardust, eight SSR, a Crimson Potion, 10 Ethereum, 200 Mother Souls, Mega Clusters, and Tomes. I'm going to get as well. And this one, what, another 10 times ticket, uh, which guarantees another DOH unit, another UR Stardust, and a bunch of this stuff, which we're going to get as well. So yeah, we got those. I wouldn't recommend to do that, but if you want to, then go ahead. I, I haven't really looked at the other ones, so I don't really care about those too much. I think they are sent in the prisons, prisons unless... Actually, let me have a look. Let me look. Where are the tickets? They should be... Yeah, there they are. So, we're going to be doing these in a little bit. Which is going to be fun. Uh, one thing I want to do first is have a look how much UR Stardust I have, which, if the game would load properly. So, you can see I've got most URs. I'm only missing two of them. If I go Extend and Plus, I've got nine. So, I'm saving these. I had six, and then I bought three more. So I'm gonna be saving those. I have no idea what I'm gonna use them on. I don't really want to save them. I don't want. To, I don't want to use them because I don't want there to be another UR to come out in the future that could be better as user on. So yeah, luck moment. Hopefully, fingers crossed for this one. Let's do this one now. I'm expecting. I'm expecting only dupes from this. Anything new, I would accept anything new, because there's only a few things I'm missing. So hopefully we can get pretty lucky with this, but I'm not expecting anything. The only thing I'm expecting is dupes. Any UR dupe I would take, because UR dupes. I'm guaranteed at least one UR dupe. I'm guaranteed one UR dupe, right? And no matter what UR it is... It's still going to be useful because that's basically one UR Stardust right there, which I don't want to do this. I really don't because it's too intense. You know, you could get the jackpot and get everything, or you could just literally get nothing. Bunch of dupes. So yeah, last time we did this, we had three Solaris UR arcs, and that was interesting. So <sighs> hopefully we can get lucky with this. Let's go. I'm not really ready for this. Come on. 
I'm expecting dupes, but I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to see what happens because don't be excited because guaranteed is going to be a lot of dupes. Yeah, they, there's one. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> that's pretty damn lucky. Okay. Okay, well, our, our, our luck has... Uh, what do I say? Uh, well, we got a Great War of Ruin, dupe, which I've already got max level arc skill. Counselor 10, I don't have to chase for that now. That means I don't have to go for it in the Shida banner. All I need is Shida. The other arc I'm missing is Katsuchi. I, there's another guaranteed UR at the end, which is definitely going to be a dupe, but... Whatever it is, I'm still happy with what we got so far. And there's a guaranteed DOH unit. But let's just finish this off and then we'll see what happens. Oh my god. You're joking me. This is crazy luck. What are you... <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh no. Okay, wait a minute. Oh my god. Okay, this is an amazing day. I like, yeah, thanks everyone for being here, I'm just going to jump out this window real quick, because what am I supposed, really? I mean, I'm not one for screaming, but I want to. <laughs> okay, well, uh, first of all, Alice dupe is whatever. Um, these boat, these, pff, these URs are the only two I'm missing, so now I've got every single UR arc. Currently, this is the best situation I could. This is the literally the best thing that could have happened to me today because uh, I really wanted Katsuchi to go with my Roy, and this new UR art that came out today as well. Okay, well, let's take a break for a minute because that was a bit way too much for my head to handle it. <laughs> okay, uh, what, uh, um. I'm kind of lost right now. Let me just take a picture of this quickly because I mustn't do that. Hang on. Okay. What, 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 what? <laughs> okay. We're gonna use the tickets in a few seconds. I'm going to. First thing I'm gonna do is <laughs> level up. I'm gonna level up. Let's get back to reality here. Let's look at the arcs first. Was it. I, I can't believe this. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, let's let's have a look at them first. Most people are going to be looking forward to this arc first of all because it's a new one. Katsuchi, I didn't, I couldn't get. I I did a bunch of pulls on Kyle's banner when it came out, but I didn't manage to get this. But I did manage to get other arcs instead. <laughs> And as well, we got a dupe of this one, which I've already got the skill maxed. So, yeah, um, okay. Well, okay, we will use the tickets in a few minutes. Let me just, yeah, I'm, let me show you something. Actually, let me show you, not, I will. I'm using Gorm. I, I've, I've fully maxed Gorm. Mostly, the only thing I don't have is uh, all of his fifth in hearts, but I'm using Gorm. He is pretty good for arena. I'm using Gorm in arena because look at defense. <laughs> Almost 4,000 defense without an arc. Yeah, Gorm, I, I personally like him because he's a pretty good tank. I like using him, mostly in arena. I, I don't really use him in the harder stages that often, but maybe it'll change. So, what do we want to do now? Uh, uh, what? I. Okay. Calm. Slow down a little bit. I'm going to level up Council of Ten Arc. I'm going to put it on my support just to show off. And I'm going to level it up as much as I can. Oh yeah, one thing I want to see. Look how much Ethereum I have. 53. 
<laughs> I can get both. I'm not showing off, okay? This is just reaction live stream. It's not showing off. It's you all enjoy this, right? Okay, let's level this up as much as I can. Let's level this up as much as I can. I won't be looking at the library because spoilers probably. We can level this up. Uh, I don't have a lot of red orbs because I was... I actually managed to get the arc, SSR arc from Eliza's banner from a free, from a daily pool, which is pretty lucky. I still didn't get Eliza. Maybe I'll get her. Who knows? Uh, and I, I'm, I'm using red souls to level up my staff in Godforge. Yeah, we can look at Godforge once I've leveled it up. This is great. Okay, so artwork. Love it. Love it. I don't know why they have a thing about people sitting in chairs with this pose. Gorm has it and Roland. It, all it reminds me of is Noctis in Final Fantasy XV. Because that's the only Final Fantasy game I've played. It was amazing. So, okay, I'll level. I have to, let's go to the train alchemy lab just to check out Godforge, and then we will use the tickets, and we will get Shida next. That's our next goal is Shida, and we will be doing as many summons as we can. Don't let the game know because I want to get Shida as soon as we can, so then we can save the rest of our crystals that we got for the unit that's coming out in two weeks on the twenty eighth or not of October. Which could be a good unit. So yeah, I was using red souls to level up this because I managed to get this. Uh, if you look, it takes a lot of red souls. So, yeah, red souls. It takes 8,500 per level. So that's why I'm low on red souls right now. Because I want to level that up. But I'm just missing those red souls. Which might take a little bit of time. If I look at the alchemy first. Uh, the one thing I'm excited about is Katsuchi. I can now get this sword. Which I can put on Roy. It's going to be amazing. I can't wait for that. Gonna be doing that later today in my own time. I'm uh, gonna have a lot of fun later today. It's gonna be a great time. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna work on that. They added this. We can get this sword from the event. If you can beat the hard stages, we can get this. I, I have no idea what this sword is, so we, this is gonna be my first time looking at the sword and what it is. So I don't have this because we get this from the event. I do have this already because I beat that before. What is it? That's pretty damn high strength. Light attributes. Light physical attack damage plus 15% is good. Battle start and close to death, auto cast, brave aura or speed once. Okay, this sword is going to be a pretty damn good one for light attackers. Because 50%, 15% light physical damage is going to be amazing. So yeah, I definitely recommend to get this. Because if you can, beat the stage, try and get this. All you need is a bunch of these god spheres, oh no. I need so many, I need to do a bunch of farming. I, I've, I've kind of had a break from this game. Uh, from the past few weeks, after the near collab, I haven't been playing as much because there hasn't been that many events or anything that has interested me up until now. I, I've still been logging in and everything, but I've been kind of waiting for this anniversary just so I can have more stuff to farm and do. So yeah. Okay, next thing. Let's go back to summons. Missions first. Uh, yeah, 120 arcs is great. Love that. Okay, so now. Best situation we can get from these tickets is... Eliza and Shida. Because those are two units I want. And Lena, but... That's not gonna happen. At least a, a new unit. These tickets, yeah. So we're gonna be using this one first, which is a guaranteed... Any unit. Let's look at the probabilities first, come on, check something. Shida, all of these units, UR arcs are in here as well, but we, now we don't have to worry about that because we've got more, so I'm very happy about that. My account is looking superb right now, and that's the first time I've ever used that word ever, <laughs> pretty much. Okay, use this ticket, guarantees a unit, could be any unit, could be like a Gorm or a Goroth or anyone like that. Doesn't really matter, must not skip. It's guaranteed unit. And then after this, we will use the 210 pools that I got, and we're gonna hope we get something new. 
I only think I'm after those tickets we're gonna go for Sheena. I'm I'm really hoping we can get Sheena. I don't expect anything new. Oh my flipping hell! What is Oh the fuck What? Okay. You can you can quit <laughs> Okay, uh, you can call it rigged if you want. You you can you can do that. Say it. Do it. I'm not cheating. You saw how much. Stop. You saw how much crystals I bought, didn't you? I kind of. <laughs> okay. Uh, um. Let me tell you something. Ah. Uh, Um, let me tell you something, let me tell you something, uh, to say, to tell you how rare that was, the probability of that happening was, if I go to probabilities, I could have got any unit from this list right here, and the probability of getting Shida was 0, 0.0, I can't read it from here, I'm, it's 0.052% of getting Shida. I mean, I, I can't, I don't know what to say other than this luck is stupid and I'm happy for it, but at the same time, I, my, I wasn't mentally prepared for this. I, I, I wasn't because I was kind of expecting to spend, have to spend a lot today, you know, I, I mean, I already have, but <laughs> well, <laughs> that was the first ticket as well. The first guaranteed unit ticket and we've still got two temples left. And we haven't even used any free crystals, meaning we've got in everything. First thing I'm gonna do. For s <laughs> I mean, <laughs> uh, okay. Let's put Sheeta up. Where is he? I mean, I wasn't lying. I wasn't just seeing things, was I? I wasn't. No. Okay. Uh. You, you, you know, the, the thumbnail says uh, summons in brackets a lot. That's what I was expecting from this, but I haven't actually done that many. And, well, we've done a lot of guaranteed ones. Like, let's use these. We've got two of these to use. They are 10 pull tickets. Uh, we could still get Eliza or Leona or Rabala. I'm mostly hoping for Eliza. Yeah, guaranteed red, because, yeah, it's, it, it is a 10 pull ticket, guarantees one DOH unit. I'm hoping for Eliza, the new Eliza that came out, I, I, I still don't have her. She would be a great unit to have, especially with Katsuchi, and that's the main unit I want now, so let's see. If we if we get a UR dupe from this, I'm just going to be, I don't know, I, I can't explain this anymore. I mean, well... Come on, something. I can't. Even if I get nothing now, I can't complain because. Yeah, you you know, I. What? So, I. Okay, enough blabbering. There's three reds. Play something new. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Uh, cat. Katsuchi. We've got two of them now. <laughs> oh, really? The Roland dupe. The Roland dupe was whatever. The Dilmordo dupe was whatever. The Katsuchi dupe was the best thing. <laughs> the, 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 pff, the probability of getting... I'm not showing off, okay? Trust me. The probability of getting Katsuchi is also 0.09%, right? 
Okay, last ticket. <laughs> last one. <laughs> last ten pull of the day. <laughs> okay, if you want me to, I can do some more, but I, I personally feel like we've accomplished a lot today with We've, I've pretty much gotten everything I wanted apart from Eliza. So, um, yeah. Okay, this is the, uh, la there's another guaranteed DOH unit in this ten pool. So we could get something from this. I'm still expecting a dupe because the chance of getting any new units, DOH unit, that I don't have are very slim. But I am missing Zayx and Zoglus, so I could get either of those two. Or it could be Leona or Eliza, who knows? Or it could just be a dupe of some old DRH unit. Two. Lilibet is actually not that bad. I don't use her as much as I did, but I still use her sometimes, so yeah, there you go. Those are the two guaranteed 10 pool DOH unit tickets. We didn't, we didn't get, we didn't get any new DOH units from those, but what we did get, what we did get was Sheeta for 300 paid crystals from a ticket that guarantees any unit from the entire game, which I can't explain, so what, what? What do you want me to do now? Because I, I kind of planned to do more summons after this. But at this point, I don't need to. <laughs> so... Hang on. Let me uh, do some things real quick. And then we will level up Shida. Try him out. With the new UR. Great stuff. There he is. Gonna be a great unit to have for sure, but not as good as a Logsus, but you can't compare him to Logsus. I was I was thinking of using God of Ruin with Sheeta. Because plus three thousand dark damage to cap is gonna be amazing for him, right? And the plus forty percent maximum damage is gonna be like that just great. So counts to ten. Uh, I don't know. This day is crazy. I mean I i tell you what happened, today I had to wake up at like half seven just so I can go to uni for lesson today. I, I it, Obviously that, that's really early for me, today is the only early day that I have to wake up so I, I, wasn't, I wasn't awake for this, I wasn't awake enough. So that's why everything is surprising me this much because I just... Okay, what, what did I... I keep forgetting what I wanted to do because... Trading space, yeah, that it, that's it. Trading space, page credentials. What I wanted to do was, we got to do more summons, don't we? I wanted to try and get, I wanted to get this accessory, as well as these prisms. So we're gonna do a few more summons because I, the paid crystals I have, I did kind of expect to use them, so. I'm going to be going for prisms. Yeah, I'm going to go for prisms definitely. And accessory. I do have other accessories. So I don't need this. But I kind of want to have it because plus 15% MP is going to be pretty useful and 10% more dark damage. So yeah, let's go back to these summons. And we will do, uh, one thing I want to see is, are the credentials on this banner the same as the Sheeta credentials? Let me double check, it's the hero credentials, it is for this, so yeah it is, it is the same one. If I just double check, there isn't any more credentials here, this one's for Eliza which is gone, so yeah it is the same credentials, so. We've already got Sheeta, what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna use uh, use pay crystals how much do I have left yeah I, I kinda wanna save some but I I wanna go with the prisms and stuff so I'm gonna be doing I could do this one or I could do this one but I've already got Sheeta and the UR so the only reason to do this one would be for dupes 
So yeah, I'm gonna do this. Go for credentials. Uh, let me t let me tell you, I'm gonna. Here's the plan. We're gonna. This is gonna be the last temple for now, and then we will get the accessory. This looks really bad, by the way. It's, yeah, skip, 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 skip. Yeah, there you go. Our luck's gone, we used it all. That's the last temple for now. I'm gonna build Shida a little bit. I'm gonna learn all of his skills. We're gonna try him out. After that, we might use some more paid crystals just to get the credentials and stuff that we need. Just to, just to even out the content a little bit to keep it more entertaining, you know. So, let me just do some math real quick. Five summons, 1,500 paid crystals. Uh, two more prisms is 40 summons, which is like uh, 12,000 paid crystals. So, that is 13,500 crystals, paid crystals that I would have to use. Okay, I'm gonna do five single pulls just to get this accessory. I think. Actually, I'm I'm gonna stop now. Let's calm down a little bit. I'm gonna. What am I gonna? I'm gonna. I'm gonna learn everything I can on Shida. We're gonna try him out. That's what we're gonna do, and we're gonna start doing some of the events and stuff. Uh, I gotta start being a little bit faster because. I'm running out of time, I've got uh, some stuff to do very soon, like 30 minutes, so try me a bit faster, I got rainbow potion from login, I could use that, I could use that, that means I'll be able to get his fifth enhance possibly as well, but Yeah, um, one thing I like doing is enhancing him first, because I th I'm pretty sure the enhancing goes towards the missions. If I were to use a potion, I don't know if it goes towards missions. Sword equip, yeah. I know one arc, I don't remember which one it's on, but I'm pretty sure there's a rare... It's either a rare arc or a... Let me have a look. Um, this one, sort of quip on this arc, there you go, I, I do use that sometimes, yeah this one, fourth enhance, I got a lot of foraging like, got a lot of those, limits are determined by others, it's those that can look beyond them that have the true value. Okay. Uh, if, the thing is, we really don't really know much about Shida, so it's kind of weird to see him as a unit because we had no idea of what his attacks were and what he was capable of, so... Kind of... I don't know what to think about that. Yeah, I need these. I won't be able to get his fifth enhance to today, but I will be able to later once I get these curse eyes. Because I remember using them on, I think, Godforge. I think it was, yeah. Pretty sure it was. Awaken. Um, um, uh, yeah, let's awaken. And then we will learn all of his skills. And then we will try him out to see how good he actually is. Well, not his true po full potential, but still uh, decent all of his base skills yeah I'm supposed to have lunch and it takes like 20 minutes looks like I'm not really gonna have much time to do that am I <laughs> oh no well okay no more souls I haven't even done the event yet I haven't even got those 3000 crystals yet so a lot of mother souls bonus SC we worry about that later yeah, tell you what, I'll do all of the paid stuff later in my own time. We're going to worry about building them and using them in, in the events right now. Uh, we're not going to worry about the paid stuff. I'll, I'll do that later. So, let's unlock everything. 
and then I will equip some good equipment on him. I am not. I don't know if he has dual wield on him yet. I don't know if he has dual wield. I'm pretty sure I do have enough clusters for everything. Almost certain I do. Let's try and do this as quick as as quick as we can. Dark high drive. Yeah. Uh, one thing I'm not entirely sure on is if Shida is going to be a better unit. That if he's going to be better than Logsus in Arena, I, 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 I don't have a clue. I might try him out once I've got him built properly, or maybe once other people have tried him out properly in Arena. Maybe I'll try to use him in Arena, I don't know. I'm, I'm still guessing that Logsus is going to be more useful in Arena because his skill 2 can use anywhere in the map and can't you can't interrupt it. As well as his skill 3, you can't interrupt his skill 3. So that's why Loxus is so great because if you use Loxus skill 3 and sh you die then his, still, his skill 3 is still going to have his animation playing and it's still going to do damage so that's a great thing. But a good thing about Shida is all of his skills you can is a close the gap skill so and all the close the gap skills are amazing in arena so there you go. You could try Loxus with Shida, but how are you going to put on the the arc that I can't think of the name of? From Devil May Cry collab. You know, yeah, that one. It, it increases dark damage by a lot. That one, pretty good in arena. I use it for Loxus. Okay. Traits. Now he's not going to be fully. He's not going to have all of his skills because he's not going to be fifth in hearts yet. But he's still going to be pretty good as fourth in hearts with everything. And I know his I know his stats look pretty low so far, but he doesn't have any equipment on right now. And not all of his skills yet either. So there you go. Divinity Slayer is one of my favorite slayers. And over here, uh, Sharp Eyes is amazing. Uh, what you could do is put Sharp Eyes with this Sharp Eyes, and they will probably stack. I wouldn't recommend that at all, because you're most likely going to hit damage cap without it. So, only you don't need another Sharp Eyes, you really don't. I don't even know if it will stack, but I'm just assuming it will, because it's a different name of a skill. So, probably does. But I don't see any reason for it, unless you're not hitting damage cap. I'm still very low on magic tomes. I should keep farming, but sometimes I just don't feel like it. <laughs> okay, we're almost done here. One thing we can do is look at his ward. My guess is it's going to be plus 100 damage cap to dark or something like that. Diablos is great. I need more rainbow clusters. I do. So, this one should be the last one, unless I missed one. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Those pulls, I pre I don't know what to say. But I'm, I'm pretty sure that UR 10 pull was the most lucky, lucky I've had. And the Shida, <laughs> that luck was so crazy. But I don't, this might be the luckiest I've been, I don't know. Last anniversary was pretty damn lucky. Dark damage plus 1%. I would prefer damage cap, but... Yeah, I'm missing one. Always one. Yeah, this will be uploaded as a video later. As soon as it finishes, it will start uploading, which always happens. So, anyone can watch this later on, which... If you are in the future, then hello to you. Thanks for watching this. <laughs> and I know my luck's been a bit crazy, but don't hate me for it, because... I, I didn't do anything, All I, I, you saw, I, I do buy crystals, so I've had bad luck, I, I've been in the same situation as you, so yeah, everyone's been in the same situation before, even if they've had good luck before in their life, they've definitely had bad luck, so yeah, let's use a rainbow potion, or a crimson potion, 
I don't know. I kind of want to use a rainbow potion, which I will do right now. Might have been a bad idea, but I could have saved it. <laughs> but he sounds evil. He really does. But is he though? He's not in the story. But is he? Does, is he going to turn out to be evil? Who knows? I don't think so. I mean, if he's evil and that's how we got his power, then that makes sense. Okay, XP, come on. I want to be close to level 42. 42. Very close. One thing I can see is Int is 10 higher than Strength. No idea why. I have no clue. Okay. So... Um... Okay, let's put on some equipment. He doesn't have dual wield, so that's a problem. <laughs> I'm gonna be... Yeah, I gotta go in like 20 minutes, so let's try and do this. I'm gonna put on... Do I put on Trishula or a sword? Uh, good question. Very good question. One thing I realize is there's no dark swords is there there isn't i didn't really get these because i didn't care there are no there wait let me go to dark 13 venocleave whatever this one is terrible no nothing all terrible this one's a spear so yeah you're not really gonna find that many good dark weapons so I would probably recommend Trishula for one. So I'm gonna put on Trishula. Find Trishula, I'll put it on. I should probably filter machine light Trishula. Boom. And then I'm gonna equip just some random stuff for now because I want to. Try and showcase his damage well, but at the same time, without dual wield, it's going to be kind of hard to showcase his true physical damage. So, let's see. Um, doesn't really matter what it is, but I do like this one. But I'm using it on Theria because she's great. This one is good, but less HP. I guess, yeah, sure, why not? More dark damage. Yeah, that's going to be good enough. I'm going to go all the way to the bottom. And I'm going to equip two very strong accessories. Stupidly strong accessories. This one is by far the best one. As well as that. The other one, which I might ch change for the head accessory later. Which is up here somewhere. This one, yeah. 15% dark damage. Yeah, so th all of this. More dark damage, more dark damage, more dark damage. <laughs> Seems like it can be pretty nice. And... What is his stats right now? So right now his strength is higher, which is what we want. Because I'm going to build him as a physical attacker. And that's pretty much it. So this is all of his skills. Fourth enhance. And this is what I have equipped so far. I, I will be putting dual wield on and probably some sword with Trishula as well. So Trishula with a sword for dual wield. And I'm gonna equip this equip I'm gonna keep this sphere accessory because it's great. And this one as well is great, but I might want to use the paid accessory later on. I don't know if I want to change that. So right now, trait one is at eight thousand damage cap. Let's go and try him out by himself with Thorea. This can be a perfect example to see how good he is and how much skill stock he can hold. Uh, Great War Bruin, just so I can swing and show off his special as well. This, let's look at the level 1 arc skill. Recover 40% of total SCT's gauge for all skills. Okay, I see a problem here. <laughs> and that is, the skill is terrible unless you can get it higher level because if you look here it's, it says it also does allies recover one SCT stock for all skills 
Now, actually, that might be recover one SET stock. Max skill stocks. So, yeah, recover one SET stock for all skills. I don't think that adds another max skill stock. So, yeah. Not as great as I thought it would, but it's still great. So, yeah, let's go into the stage that I usually showcase. And I will try to finish up soon because I don't have a lot of time left. But yeah, this was a great... This is a great stream. I enjoyed this. The luck. 101% luck today, for sure. Okay, let's go this stage. Godless stage, the rear. And we will just use him. We're going to try this out. See what I can do. He does have Trish a lot on, just so I can see uh, his base damage, pretty much. So yeah, let's do this. Uh, I'm going to see how much how much skills he can hold in all of his skill stock, and then I'm gonna use his special skill, and then start spamming his skills to see if it can do decent damage without dual wield, and his magic as well. Sure, why not? But yeah, let's do this. This will be pretty fun. So yeah, first of all, class record. I don't know what the attribute is, but my arc current level, I should have looked. So yeah, how much can he? How much can he hold with skill three? More than one, which is great. I've got to love that. Skill two can hold at least three. It's great. Skill one holds five. Yeah, there you go. Five, three, two. There you go. Okay. Now I'm gonna use Great Wall Run to charge a special. So holding three of his skill two and two of his skill three is pretty strong. So he's got minus dark resistance. He's got minus dark. He's got plus dark, but I'm using Trishula. Let's focus on you and actually the boss because you can see the health bar at top. Let's use a special. Try it out. It's gonna be pretty cool. Local teleportation. It should be pretty good damage. Forty one hits, there you go. Now uh let's we don't need to use his arc skill yet. So let's try out his skills. So skill one is pretty spammable actually. Skill two is Anywhere, I do like it the most. Skill 3. Okay, I like that. That's a pretty good animation. One thing I want to say first is I'm going to use the arc skill now, look at the animation, and I'm going to see at what range I can use the skills. Okay. Kind of what I expected. Okay, let's go over here and see if I can actually use it from anywhere. I can't use skill 1 from anywhere. I still got a walk to them, I think. Skill 2, I know you can use anywhere. Yeah. Skill 2 is amazing. Skill 3 can use anywhere else, I think, as well, right? Yeah. Yeah. Skill 1, you can't use anywhere. You've got to be in enough range, I'm pretty sure. Let's test it one more time, then we'll be out of here and go into the event. So, skill 2 is going to be amazing if you put on backstab, skills like that. Skill 3 is going to be a very wide range attack. This is all without dual wield, so he's going to be able to do a lot more damage than this. Just. Okay, I'm going to focus on this guy and use skill 1. You can see he's not going to go to it. He's not going to. Yeah, he's really slow right now for some reason. Yeah. His skill 1 can't be used anywhere, but his skill 2 and 3 can be used anywhere, so. Let's use his magic. We haven't tried that yet. Uh, black hole. He doesn't have any. Uh, Casting speed ups, so let's see this. Hmm. And then skill two. Okay, that's that's a pretty good combo. I like that. Use his uh use that magic skill to pull all the enemies in, and then use his skill two or three, uh, probably skill two to get in there, do backstab damage, and then you can use skill 3 and spam skill 1 because you're close enough so 
That, that's going to be, I can see a pretty good combination of skills there. Uh, basically using is skill 2 or 3 to get close in there. Actually mostly using is skill 2 to get really close in there. And then it will allow you to spam a skill 1 if you want to or skill 3. Uh, or you could use skill 3 anywhere on the map. But I personally like skill 2 for closing the distance. So skill 2 is going to be great for that. So yeah, that's Shida showcase is pretty nice uh is i know his damage wasn't that great but i don't have him fully built is is doesn't have any that's just his base skills and he was doing pretty decent damage so yeah let's go into the events a little bit because i've really got to leave soon now these four four lords and the five capital battle lords these two are going to be very hard so you've got to be prepared for that but uh definitely worth doing because you can get you get a sword which you use to craft the light sword in the god forge which is pretty strong i haven't done any of these yet anniversary match anniversary quest is i think 3000 crystals let's look at the match event well, maybe i should have done this my own time i could have ended it there wouldn't it? let's just quickly have a look at all this see what's here It's always Lily. I, w I wonder if there's going to be like a Zaix uh, shift in the future. That would be interesting. I still don't have Zaix. I really, I still don't. New settings and everything, yeah. I, I'm I'm worried. <laughs> Spoilers. Yeah, I do like these match events. By the way, there is a time trial event. Gonna be on the twenty eighth in two weeks, I think. Which, I, I, I don't know how well I'm going to do on that at all, I don't know. Little extra special something. Yeah. I can handle anything. I, I have some pretty good stuff right now. Anniversary match starts now, starts now, blah blah. Okay. Let's get into this event quickly. I'm not going to do everything. I've got to leave. Ideally in five minutes, just so I can get set up for everything. So I'm just going to have a quick look through everything then. That'll be done for this. But yeah. Maybe I'll do some more videos or something. I, I'll, I'll see if I can. I'm not entirely sure yet. Uh, I, I, I do want to have some fun with all the new stuff we've got today. Okay, so yeah. Event period, receive, training, co-op, new stickers and stuff. A lot of stuff here. Event XP, one of these, yeah. Okay. So, that fat guy, Abaddon. All this trading space. So, yeah, I would definitely recommend to do this event as much as you can because there's a lot of good stuff here. All these materials, I find them quite rare. These materials, quite rare. And I do need them as well, so. Uh, festival tickets. Uh, slay rewards, let's look at these. So yeah, you can get tickets in a, these, right? There's tickets somewhere. Before, we've had tickets in these before. Day 5. Come on, I need some DOH tickets, just because it would be nice to have. But I just want to see these. Okay, mostly Mother Souls. Yeah, that's pretty much your Mother Souls and event points okay mission rewards have yeah i can get that now perfect mission rewards yeah there's yeah tickets in here mission rewards so make sure to do this event you get a bunch of tickets which you could get something good like any you could get a ur arc from 
ticket tickets, which I did manage to get Katsuchi from the tickets, which was pretty good. But it was a dupe, which I got. <laughs> okay. Tickets, tickets. Mega clusters are great. When taking physical damage, chance recover, damage is HP. Don't really care about those. Uh, I was hoping for Shida, the prisms, but I don't see any, so yeah. A lot, looks like a lot of stages here. <laughs> Pretty nice, I do like a lot of stages. So yeah, I'm not going to do this now, I'm going to have to go now, because yeah, there's been a hell of a stream. Uh, all of these events I would be doing later on, but I don't have time now, so... I'm gonna have to leave it for here. Uh, I pretty much covered everything I wanted to in this stream slash video. Whenever you're watching this, hope you've had fun watching it because I certainly did. Because not just because of my luck, but just because you know I I I do like the amount of content they added in this anniversary is quite a lot, and yeah, the luck adds to it. I know. So yeah, I'm gonna end this here. If anyone's got any questions, then just comment on this video because. Uh, it will be uploaded very soon. It just might take a while because the stream is quite long. So yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you when I see you. I don't know when. I, I'll try to do some videos, but I, I, I'm limited on time because I've got some work to do. So, and I like having a free time as well. I don't like to do everything related to videos. Even though I would like to, it's just, you know, I, I need free time as well. So yeah. I will see you in the next one, wherever that is. I don't know when the next live stream is going to be because in two weeks, yeah, in two weeks from now, there's going to be another unit, new unit. So definitely two weeks from now is going to be another live stream. I will try to do something in between, but I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to be able to do that yet. It, it depends how things goes, really. So yeah, thanks for being here, and I will see you next time. Bye.